Welcome to my video for the Enraged Blazing Emissary Advent Fire Event. This is a full auto hell mode video and I broke it into two parts. This first team will be my fastest clear. It's about a two to three minute clear. And then the second team will be a more free to play oriented team that doesn't use any ML5s, any limited units or any limited artifacts to help along. Now I didn't re-gear anybody for this, so some of the artifacts don't quite make sense, but I'll go over that as we move through the teams. Now martial artists can, can practically solo stage one. You don't need this ER on them, and a damage artifact would make more sense than what I have. So just throw them on there and win. Now my loon is pretty cracked. Yours doesn't have to be. Like I said, it's a martial artist Ken show. These two here are just for support. And the third unit I used, Operator Sigrid, she's there just to give martial artist Ken an attack buff. So you can use any attack buffer, really. Stage two, Watcher Shuri. This is my uh, Hunt Clear Watcher Shuri on Rage Set. Yours does not have to be because really Sinful Angelica and Seaside Bologna kind of solo this stage but Watcher does stabilize it. He makes it go a lot faster. The final stage, I ran Amelia. She is just there to push Sigrid around and to help with debuffs. Good old classic um, Furious with Song of Stars for debuffs and Sigrid. You treating the last phase basically like an old school Wyvern team. Uh, I had Sigrid on a useless artifact there. Since the boss is below 50% health, the um, Portrait of the Saviors does nothing. So Daydream Joker would be the better way to go. Also forgot, ran back real quick, make sure you take your hunt pet because Advent is a side story and you will get increased side story currency if you take a pet that has that skill. So on stage one, martial artist Ken's gonna pop off every time he's hit with a crit. And as you can see, just that one counter did about 5% of the Magnar's health, so it won't take long to get him down to 66% health. Even with just ML Ken countering, you could honestly run Ken and two healers. It would just be slow. My other two damage units are just there to speed things along a bit. And attack buff Ken hits even harder. You don't have to worry about the immunity, immunity buff because you'll just power through this. Easiest phase in the fight. Oh, in hindsight being 2020, probably would be a better idea to put Ken up front instead of my glass cannon Luna because I don't think she's going to make it through this, but she doesn't have to. And now we're on to phase two. Sinful Angelica goes immortal at the start of the fight and puts up her debuff, or puts up her um, attack buffs. I really like having her on candlestick for this, just helps make sure she cycles, but to be honest, if you're geared well enough and you have Watcher Shuri, you probably are never going to need to reapply her buffs. The enemy attacks so often that Seaside Bologna basically gets to spam her S2. My Rage Set Watcher into no debuffs still takes a large chunk of the bar away, so even if you go a non-Rage Set Watcher, you should still be fine. And as you can see, this fight is already almost over. Now we've pushed phase three. Phase three, you're in a little bit of a race, so you do want to take some nuking units. Treat it kind of like your very first Wyvern 13 one-shot. Amelia is going to cleanse the burns off and give bears just to buy us some time. Furious can put crit chance buff on my cigarette since she's not full crit. You get the defense break and the target, and it's easy. You don't get the defense break and the target, it probably will still be fine. Secret smashes for about half of the remaining health. And gets pushed up again by Amelia into her S3, which should come close, or into her S2, which should come close to clearing the phase. And there you go. And that was without Daydream Joker. If you have Daydream Joker on her, it's even cleaner. So. 
I hope that helps with your farming of normal hell mode on this advent event. But maybe you're thinking, hey, Mr. Wolf, I don't have any ML5 units and I missed these limited units and don't have access to some of these artifacts. Well, that's okay. I've got a team for you too. This next team is slower, but it doesn't use any ML5s, it doesn't use any limited artifacts, and it doesn't use any limited units. And still is a full clear. It's four to five times as long as this one, but it works. If you uh, want to mix and match teams, go for it. You can use a team from each one. So first is Shu. I honestly thought I had her on Merciless Glutton, but I put her on Uber's Tooth by accident. Uh, then there's a Kisei, moderate Kisei with a DPS artifact. And then in the front spot, I have Amelia on Tome. Shu carries this first team. It's really, your gear doesn't really matter there. Team two, I'm running Carrot, she's my debuff spammer, and I'm running Charlotte. The nice thing about Charlotte and Carrot, it's very hard to stick debuffs on either of them, so they won't be controlled. And Tamarin on her, uh, on Magahar's Tome, just a cycler, she's a pretty solid healer. The last stage, we're digging back to a very classic Wyvern team. We're running Montmorency as our healer, we're running Sigrid on Daydream Joker as our DPS, and we're running Crow as our frontline knight. Um, again, make sure you take a hunt pet that's got the side story currency bonus so that you get extra currency. Make sure all your skills are on and just press auto for this team as well. Especially if you get Shu counters into Fwoosh, this team goes very quickly. If you have some effectiveness on your cigarette, you can reset the Magnar, but it's not really necessary because the damage output should just be high enough to clear. I think if I put Daydream Joker on my shoe, this stage would probably already be cleared. But as you can see, there was no threat to my team, and we already are pushing into phase two. There. Now we're running a slow phase two without Watcher Shuri here, so you want to maintain a good stack of debuffs, even though my carrot barely stuck anything here. Charlotte have immunity on so that she can do an AoE attack right out of the gate. And then the other units hitting her will keep her proccing buffs, so she should pretty much always do AoE attacks. So you can see it's not super fast, but it's super stable. Etika Scepter putting in work. If you don't have Etika Scepter, that's fine. You can run Spirit's Breath or really any artifact on Carrot would be fine. You could even run Chatty for extra barriers. If you are able to get Watcher Shuri onto this team, I'd recommend it. In fact, if you can run the team from uh, the prior video, it will make this entire run a lot faster. It was kind of tough to find a stable, consistent Phase 2 team that runs slow like this that didn't use ML units, but uh, I wanted you to have access to as free to play an option as possible. The odds are on my side. 
Okay, we finally pushed out of phase two. And now on to our classic Wyvern team. This team is just built to last. Montmorency spams her cleanses. Kral can self-heal. Well, not so much self-heal as put up a barrier with his S3. And Sigrid just does damage. Oh, it would have been nice if I had made sure Sigrid had 100% crit or 85% crit chance there. That was a pretty big hit to not do any damage on. Again, much like Phase 2, this isn't a fast team. It's just a very stable team. As you can see, I'm, I'm nowhere near in any kind of danger of failing this run. And I'm trying to use free-to-play units. And by free-to-play, I don't mean low gear requirement. Uh, by free-to-play, I mean no limiteds, no ML5s. You didn't have the money to buy bookmarks to get every single unit in the game. So I'm trying to go with units that are commonly available off of normal banners. As far as gear goes, that is what it is. Advent is end game PvP or PvE. It's not designed to be new player or mid game friendly. You can clear out the entire shop just by farming normal mode. You're going to spend a lot of time doing it. You'll only miss out on one or two things that you probably don't even care about. Um, so don't feel like there's this big fear of missing out by not completing epic hell or even normal hell. Vanish. Into darkness. It's going to be okay. Here I go. Every time you hit the Magnar, he gets scaling attack boosts, so he hits harder and harder and harder, but as long as this fight is drug out, Montmorency is keeping up on the health of everybody, and uh, this fight could probably go on twice as long with no problems. and another missed crit. So make sure when you build your units you put 85% crit chance on your damage dealer. And maybe it won't take nearly as long as this. Okay, I hate this team, but it's officially done with as free to play units as I can get for this end game PvE. So I hope this helps you uh, complete your uh, advent side story, at least for your normal hell farming. I will have an epic hell video up later this evening. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments section. And as always, like and subscribe. Have a great one everybody.